169420. Hello and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB today in the arena. I know. The Arena Craft Podcast may have sailed into the West, but the legacy of Arjuna on this channel and sort of on magic, uh, on me at least, uh, is going to carry on. And we are going to play Simic Ramp. Simic Ramp, blue and green. Ramp to the moon, cast big things. It does have some new cards, which always makes the deck pretty exciting. And we're going to talk about those quickly. Titan of Industry. If you saw the Simic Ramp deck that I posted for the last set, it was one of the hardest decks to create, one of the hardest decks to make a competitive mythic version of. And once we did, it was basically a Shigeki deck built around playing Cyclone Summoner and then using Fading Hope to bounce Cyclone Summoner and cast again and using Shigeki to get back Fading Hopes and Cyclone Summoners and just Cyclone Summon every single turn. And it was actually incredibly useful and effective, specifically against like Esper mid-range style strategies that didn't run many counter spells. And guess what's really popular in the meta right now? Yeah, those Esper mid-range strategies. And most of them don't have many counter spells. So I'm totally down for playing Simic Ramp again and seeing how it works out. The problem now is those decks do have a new weapon in Rafine and they're much more aggressive than they used to be. So it might be harder to keep them from taking over the game. Okay, so once again, we're gonna be on a bit of a journey in this particular video as I found the right build. A lot of the games you're going to watch are going to feature uh, not field trip. They're going to, we started with emergent sequence because it felt like I needed more two drops in the deck. And emergent sequence, it makes the little, you know, critter lands, it, it just wasn't doing it. Not only do they need a full turn before they can even do something as fundamental as blocking, but they're vulnerable to sweepers and removal and guess what? What? People were removing them often. I was just playing lots of ramp spells also and running out of gas. So I needed more gas for the deck. And that's where Field Trip came in. And it gets added midway through the video. Field Trip is really good because you do get access to the sideboard. I did start with four Field Trips. We paired it down to two for a final, final version of the deck because you can overdo it. But Field Trip is an awesome glue card. I still think it deserves a place in the best of one list of any kind of Simic Ramp build because you get to go to the sideboard and you get your basic conjure your teachings or your mascot exhibition you know you get to do something you get another piece of digital cardboard you get a few more cards you get deeper to try to draw one of your titans basically i'm calling these the titans two seven drops in the deck in four of because you want to draw as many of them as possible and then a bunch of things that make and get lands like topiary stomper that fetch lands from the deck to get you to where you can cast them because if you're casting titan of industries and cyclone summoners every turn you're gonna be a little bit up there compared to what everybody else is trying to do. That's the plan of the deck. Also, I gotta say, it's really fun running things like Neverwinter Dryad, Topiary Stomper, Quandrix Cultivator, creatures that also put lands on the board. They can pressure Planeswalkers, they can pressure Opnixilis. It's really nice when your ramp spell is also a body. So other than Emergent Sequence, I'm really enjoying that side of the deck. We're also still a Shigeki deck, get stuff back over and over. Towards the very end, I decided that four field trips was a bit overkill on the ramp. We paired it down to two, and I've added an offer you can't refuse and disdainful stroke. There's a lot of value to having a one mana play when you have Shigeki in your deck, because when you have seven mana, you can use Shigeki to get back two cards, and then uh, one of those being something like an offer you can't refuse or fading hope, and then you can play it that turn, which can be a big deal. And then um, we also have a disdainful stroke, because sometimes at the end of the game, the opponent's doing big powerful things that we actually do need to stop or we will lose the game plus once this list gets out the mirror is going to be a thing you might want an answer in the mirror for what they can do anybody who can actually counter a cyclone summoner is still a big problem for the deck so adding an offer you can't refuse at least gives us some counterplay to the situation one sky turtle uh, the last version ran a bunch of sky turtles with the idea being that you could recur shigeki forever by using the sky turtles discard ability and getting back shigeki and getting back turtle and getting back shigeki now this appeals to those of us who like having what's called what we call in magic inevitability like if we get enough time and we get our cards we will be able to never ever stop bouncing the board with something like a cyclone summoner we can literally do this all day 
The fact is you don't need to anymore, and the reason you don't need to is Titan of Industry. This card can just overpower opponents very effectively. So it's you don't really need to do the Shigeki Shuffle. You just need to Shigeki a couple times, getting back Titan and Cyclone Summoner, and you'll just beat them to death because Titan does end games. Or a Cyclone Summoner by itself was very hard to end games with because it would have to come off Summoning Sickness, get to attack, they could chump block it. Titan doesn't have that problem. So we're not trying to recreate Shigeki forever. We can if we get our Sky Turtle, but we're not, it's not the goal of the deck. We're just trying to use it enough to drop enough of the two towers to finish the opponent. All right, I've introduced the deck and talked about why the list you see here in the intro isn't quite the same as the list you're going to see in the video for at least some of the video. So I don't need those questions in the comments. I see you, unless you're one of those 30% who skipped the intro. Cringe. Well, now you're missing the real juice. Let's dive in. Let the Simic Ramp nonsense begin. Scary Cat Avatar. Ah. Well, let's hope they're a nice and slow kind of creature deck. Okay, we're gonna need to draw lands for this hand to be good, but we're gonna keep it. Keeping a two-lander on the play in Ramp is super sketch. Just gonna have to get there. Sands. Okay, we know what we're up against. It's enchantment nonsense. I think we have to fetch here, because then we can fetch next turn, too. Trample, though. Mm. Trample's not good. Let's see what they do. Maybe there is a world where we Sky Turtle bounce the Kami. If they put a rune on it. They go for a visitor. They go for a companion. Okay. Do we bounce this? No, we we really have to. We gotta we gotta get to Cyclone Summoner here. Missing land drops is gonna absolutely kill us. All right, land, please. Off the top, we need two straight lands, and they want they don't have to be islands. Okay. We're gonna do it like that. I can't believe we haven't drawn another land. I mean, I believe it. I don't like it. Okay. <laughs> Elevator is going way up for our opponent. Ten life. Land. Wow. 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 Game is rigged. All right. Ready for Tamio safekeeping here? Come on, turtles. Show us the way. There's the rune. That rune we've been waiting for. No safekeeping mana. Out of there. <laughs> and you thought you could just boggles me to death. There's the land. All right. Da 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 da. Turtles. We don't even have to play a summoner here. We can drop the Titan on him. And destroy an artifact and gain five. Destroy an enchantment, rather. Yeah, I killed your dog. What? Oh, borrowed time. Oh, borrowed time against Cyclone Summoner is LOL. Not gonna, not gonna show me what's what. All right, turtles. We got a chumper. Do we? Yeah. Too good not to. Uh, five life, four, four. See ya. <laughs> Wouldn't wanna be ya. Whoop, whoop, whoop. What a name. What do I call you? Whoop. Okay. Right. Ramp, ramp. Maybe we'll find uh, something to do with all of that mana. Deathcap Glade. What else you got? Are we Jundin? Are we Jund Gamer? Okay. 
Yeah, let's kick it to the sequence. I'm gonna get a green, because I think it's gonna die. And we don't want to run out of blue sources in the deck. Thirst. Yep, thirsty thirsty up there. Okay. Stomps. Now we'll fetch that nice safe island. Opponent might be playing the Invoke Despair pile. Nope! They got the wolf. Sir Rolf. The Wowmeda. Okay. Kick it over to you. See what they do. We got a, a block and sack option here. If they power up the hive, we can bounce it. That's a pretty big setback. Or we can both Seiju it. Fading Hope has an important role in the deck as something you just keep getting back with Shigeki, but also gets us back our Titans. Gets us back our Cyclone Summoners for further use, just so the opponent can never keep permanence on the battlefield. Yep, you get a little counter there. Whenever a permanent leaves the battlefield, whenever a permanent opponent controls is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, plus one, plus one counter. At the beginning of the upkeep, that has one or more counters, you may remove all of them. If you do, exile each other non-land permanent with mana value less than or equal to the counters. Good against tokens. Very good against tokens. Bind. Hmm. Okay. All right, dino down. I think that's fine, though. We could save it, but I think we'll just Shigeki it. Here we are, uh, looking at Fading Hope and Shigeki for two, which can be Ramp Ramp. Duress? It's going to hit one of the Fading Hopes no matter what I do here. Could just bounce this and then Shigeki for three next turn. Like, we're not under a ton of pressure in that case. We don't have protection from the Hive, I guess, in that situation. Unless we draw a different land. Okay, different land. Cool. Keep holding the bow, Seiju. It makes them scared to play the hive. Probably. We'll see. Maybe not. I think uh, a really smart player would see through the fact that I really want to Shigeki this turn and might power up hive into the bow, Seiju to make me do it. Okay. What do we get? All the ramp cards? One Fading Hope. Two of the ramp cards. Summoner. Here comes the dinosaur. Here comes the Dryad, and now we can hold this Boseju for if and when they do go for Hive. Okay, Grasp is fine. Do I have to do this in response? I think I do, right? So I'm gonna take some damage. Kinda yeah, sucks. Still think it's right. Still think it's right. The next Shigeki is going to be a beauty. All right, they have enough mana to also power up the hive here, so we have to wait for a second. And now they're in combat, so we can blow this up. They get a land, they tap that, they tap this. They can power up the other hive, but now it's tapped, so...
stompies. Three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh. I really want to be able to protect with the hope. All right. Well, I'll play a dinosaur here. It's getting dicey, but that's how it, that's how it goes. Oh, we needed to draw that Titan too. Reaching for the hive again. I will fading hope it if they go for it. Too much pressure, too low of life. Okay, no hive, cool. Three cards, what do they do? You're gonna invoke to spare me to death? Maybe. Binding, okay. That makes Cyclone Summoner pretty bad, doesn't it? Is what it is. Now I gotta wait out this binding, that's gonna be hard. So I guess we'll Fading Hope this now. Sequence is not what we need. We need Titan. Titan. Turtle. This is where you really miss cards like Field Trip, where your ramp spell can also just get you some life gain and another threat or a bunch of bodies. And I really, really, really would love to replace um, Emergent Sequence with Field Trip, and I, I, I just might. I might even do it after this game. I just miss it way too much. Field Trip, Arjuna can try to make fun of it, but it's, it's the glue, man. It gets you through a lot of crap. Okay, Sequence won't do it. Cyclone Summoner won't do it because they just pick up the binding, play it again, and kill ya. Yep, field trip going in. Creepy big cat avatars. They're not going away. They're here to stay. All right, Dryad Dryad. We'll see. Dryad Dryad fading hope. Hopefully we don't get beaten to death. one is that Naya? Oh, runes. Has to be runes. Only runes can get played. It's the only deck worthy of all these plebs' attention. <laughs> Narset sleeves. I thought for a second this person could have taste, but this big cat avatar is immediately calls that into question, and the commies? Commies make it even worse. No point in blocking because of the trample. Two twos with trample for two, come on. Come on. Let's do it again. We're going to need a Cyclone Summoner. The opponent is missing land, that is what you call the bright side. Rune of Sustenance. Let's deny them the draw. Field trip, okay. Very helpful card. I, <laughs> of course, doesn't really matter if we're gonna sack that anyway, does it? All right, I'm ready for another rune with the soaring cite. I might not get to cast Seagate Restoration. That's okay. All right, naturalist. Do I take the four, or do I get back two cards? And save the Atawara for another moment. I think that having the Hall of Storm Giants up next turn will make that really interesting. So I think we just Atawara now and keep them behind and leave them in a bad spot. Now we can power a Paul if they attack. We're gonna give them that IQ test if they know how Hall of Storm Giants works. Ooh. Hmm. Maybe I was supposed to bounce that in response. Maybe. If they target it again. If they target it again, I'll get back two cards and bounce it. They do.
Yep. Yeah, keep them, keep them without land. I love it. Discard a card, you fool. You fool. Ooh. Uh, all right. Yeah, let's... Um, maybe I, I'm supposed to hit him? I think so. I think I'm supposed to hit him. Put him under threat. Like, I'm going to kill you. You're going to have to make blockers. I'm going to kill you, runes. You're going to die. <laughs> yeah, not a Seagate game for sure. Mm. They always have it too. Okay. All right. You know what? I probably should have learned this in the past, that threatening the runes is usually the wrong call. They cheat so hard when it comes to, like, I'll just gain all that back. I don't, I don't give a fox. All right. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. It's falling apart, guys. It's falling apart. Should have played the stomper. The combo. Free spells. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. But let's see what they target. Nice. Nope. Need the big hitters. Where are the titans? Where are the frickin' titans? I can't do it, man. I can't draw them. And we're dying here. I don't have time anymore. They're gonna play Showdown of the Scalds, and it's all falled. It, it, it's over. Like, we lost this game. I can't believe it. I guess I uh, really... I feel like I've learned the lesson before, but apparently I haven't, because I didn't think of it at the time. But I feel like I lost this game when I attacked with the Hall. I've got to stop doing that. It works. It works against lesser decks. Runes is not a lesser deck. For some reason, they just shrug that off. Doesn't even bug them. Okay, they didn't play Showdown. They played these circles. They're out of runes. They don't have card advantage. And maybe we have a shot here to draw something good. We've got so many lands on the field. Surely it's time to draw one of those seven drops. 20 cards are out of the deck. Stop acting like this is a big brain deck. There you go. Good job. Good job, little baby. You did it. Wow. Really? <laughs> okay. You go to two. Easy. Never didn't have it. I want to stack that for two, so we play this. Kick it. They do get to play the Roomforge Champion again. I think it was right to block the Naturalist, but 
I'm not positive. Blocking Rune Forge is also, like, if we're trying to rip Cyclone Summoner anyway, might be better. Opponent's an absolute Rune Scientist. A level 10 Rune Mage. They've counted every single permanent on the battlefield and in every graveyard, and they are prepared to make a play that will blow your mind right now. Right now. It's coming any second now. They're, they're going to do it. They've got it. They got it or they die. Yep. 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 Stampa? Yep. They found a line. Any line. Okay. So we power up our 7 7. We attack with both and this. They're forced to block something. Then they're left with a 3 3. So the Neverwinter Dry doesn't make the difference here. So let's get the land. Can we power up both halls? We've got to be close, right? Hmm. Hmm. All right. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15. Both halls would be 14. Beautiful. So they would have to... Blocking one won't save them. They have to block both. Almost dead to a hasty rune, but these will be in the graveyard and we'll have a 1 1. So the opponent's gonna go block, then block. Wait a minute. Oh, they have a they have a circle. They're gonna beat me here. They're gonna beat me here. They are a rune scientist. I should have thought about it more. Yeah, they've got circle into rune into haste into game. Let's see them get it. All I had to do was something smarter. Rune Scientist! We've been defeated. By level 3 Runer. Alright. On the draw, we're gonna try it. Turn 2 Shigeki. It dies. Turn 3 Field Trip. Turn 4 Quandrix. Well, I have a lot of mana. I've played this deck for over an hour. I haven't drawn a Titan. Not a single Titan of Industry. It's it's a four of in the deck. It's insane. It is actually insane what's going on. But we're going to... Now it's a now it's science. Now we're putting it to the test. Is it even possible for this deck to draw a Titan of Industry? Okay, we get to untap with our Shigeki. Nice. Well, instead of Field Trip, I'll just pass the turn and... We'll activate this, and we'll probably... Also, I haven't hit a land off my Shigeki yet. <laughs> that hasn't happened today either. To tell you the kind of day I'm having. Hey! It's a brand new day. <laughs> Everything's looking up. Everything's looking CGB. I'm sure the opponent's got nothing good they can do to us from a position like this. Nothing? They, they're gonna chill? Okay. Okay, opponent, you chill. Cyclone summoners. Send a message. Not gonna tap out for the summoner because of Juari. So I guess we're field tripping. More land, please. Containment Breach, Teachings, Sciences, Mascot, Conjuration. Just hit land, right? Just hit land. Let's save it, though. Maybe we cycle Atawara. 
and then next turn play Summoner with Fading Hope open. My god! They've acquired so much treasure! Uh-huh. Yep. They don't get a treasure for that. Haha. -ha. They don't use their memory deluge either. Okay. Attack you. Let's try to take all their treasures and make them go bye bye. Nice. This also is a ton of pressure. So, what you gonna do with that dragon? <laughs> oh, that's desperation. I love it. I mean, that would be a problem in a lot of cases. I think here, just cyclone summoning them is gonna wreck them quite a bit. Because they're not gonna get to untap with dragon and all the mana, but we'll see. Maybe they counter this summoner? They're gonna go down to seven. Facing two seven sevens. That's a lot. Why didn't they get the Fading Hope from the graveyard? I don't know. They got nothing. They got nothing. Two seven sevens, okay? Those are really big for an Izzet deck. Can they kill him? Can they even block them? <laughs> Dig. Dig, you fool. Here's Lear. You have a fading hope? You must have one in there. I mean, we drew it. <laughs> You're late. Uh, I think we just fading hope this Lear, though. One, two, three. Boing. Boingy, boingy, boingy. See ya. <laughs> Alright, ramp into summoner. It is still grossly absurd how many summoners I've drawn compared to Titan of Industries, but... Like I said, now it's just science. The deck is refusing to give me Titan of Industry. They're forcing me to choose Cyclone Summoner at every turn. Whatever. We make the best of the situation. Hopeful indeed. This is mono white. They play mono white. Whoa, blue. Okay. <laughs> Aggressive white deck, go burr. They splash whatever colors they want to these days. As long as you're playing Hopeful Initiate into Thalia, it's all good. Well, our opponent is not. Not yet. Not yet. I don't want the opponent to know I don't have a Fading Hope, so I'm just going to get another green. Turtle. What you doing there? Brutal Cathar, love it. Great. Send that message. Hmm. Shigeki! We got a blocker. Would you like to Brutal Cathar that as well? Rafine! Of course.
It's just a casual draw three, discard three. Because you played, like, the best on-rate creature you could. It's good. <laughs> it's fine. It's totally fine. That's okay. I got something for you. Let's see if they can beat a Cyclone Summoner. I love it when they Brutal Cathar it, because then you have another Cyclone Summoner on demand. It's like Netflix for Cyclone Summoners. Awesome. Ooh. How much will we have left? Six. Six is interesting. I'm trying to figure out whether or not I want to summon again. Yeah. I mean, it's so good, right? I don't think they can beat this sequence. They have bigger things to deal with than this Shigeki. So, putting it on the battlefield, probably good. Oh, where are you going? Don't you have some tiny creatures to cast? And <laughs> I do like that emote. I've got that one up my sleeve, too. <laughs> Oh my god, it's here! At a reasonable time. Ha! Start with a little 7-7, seven, seven. come and get it. We got chumpies. Good. All right, we'll make 4-4, four, four. we'll gain 5, because the opponent's just running exile effects anyway, so shield counters are meh. And now there's multiple 7-7s seven breathing down your throat. You got an app for that? Oh no! Doesn't work on these! Oh no! Are we going to hit two lands? It might be my birthday. Oh my gosh! Shigeki hits again? Lucky me. Come in, Ray. <laughs> Reduced to a meager 3-6. Got him. Here we go. Please draw land, though. On the play, I know that's asking a lot. But we've got the two towers here. And we gotta get there. If this gets sciences, we already have five lands that we're looking at. We need to draw two more naturally. And if they were in the top, uh, if they were just the top two cards of the deck, we would be rolling. Nice. Yes, please. Come on, baby. I strangle it, I dare you. Or tell. Oh god, is this mill? I always think it's dual strike. Hey, we're hitting those land though. Two, three, four, five, six. This is seven, so we'll take it. Mill is probably in a great spot. We're just not that fast. I mean, when I played Mill against Mill the other day, this was the nut draw. It just they they did this and then they like copied Atasha's and then they cast one more cacophony and it was game. It was not close. And it looks like it could happen again here.
One, two, three, four Shigeki! Yeah. They were all exactly one card apart from each other. Look at that. Shigeki, another card. Shigeki, another card. Shigeki, another card. Shigeki, another card. That was the order. Shuffler's fine. Four, four, shield counter. We'll shield counter the token, I guess. They probably can't kill the Titan anyway, but they might have burned down the house. I'm sure they're going to Galvanic, Tasha's. Although Tasha's, we might be able to survive some Tasha's if we have enough Titans and um, Cyclone Summoners left in the deck. In fact, they didn't hit any of those, just all the Shigekis. So it is possible Tasha's goes very, just goes three cards. They could hit a Tasha's for just three cards here. What? That's taking your mill thing a little serious, isn't it? Tap target creature. It's controller mills too. Then it doesn't untap. Yeah, okay. I'm coming for you. I am coming for you. You only have one more turn. Make it count. Uh, their hand. I wanna. I would love to see their hand. Like, what is it? Is it all crush the weak? You know, cinderclasm? Maybe. All right. Dryad go burr. Shigeki go burr. Titan be like, wow. Let's play magic. What you got? I'm gonna silence that bat. Bard? Freaking class. This returns a creature, right? Okay then. Bard class is gonna happen. Do they have haste creatures? I think they do. We gotta get to the Titan. It's gonna be a long road, too. And they've already leveled their Bard class. Man, if we had gone first, we could field trip into the thing that removes it. Oh no. Oh no. What do we do? Do we have to bounce the Tovalar? Or do we let them draw that card? I think we gotta keep ramping. Now, next turn, we can breach this and bounce the Tovalar, but, I mean, this game could be just out of hand by then. Oh, God. No! Oh, no! What? The? <laughs> yeah. Close game. We played Magic here today. Get this out of here. Sure showed them. Sure showed them to mess with us. Bard class. Ugh. Easily one of the dumbest decks in the in the game, but people love it. Oh, oh, come on. You you were supposed to play that on the Prismatic Bridge, and you know it. Opponent literally missed the opportunity to come after me with the Prismatic Bridge. Ramp problems, man. Never be on the draw. Oh, the one of Sky Turtle. <laughs> I have no idea how many of the games I filmed with this that I'm going to keep, but the, the one of Sky Turtle, I have drawn this probably... I, I have drawn one Titan, and it was like on the last turn of the game. One Titan of Industry. I have had this Sky Turtle in my hand every freaking opener. This is... I mean... Now they're just teasing me. <laughs> this deck has me like right on the edge. I am right on the edge. Like playing this thing, I am so angry. I hate it. I hate this deck. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> but that's, you know, it is what it is. It's fine. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Are we gonna draw any ramp spells? Or are we just gonna draw the one? You know? Chingachings. <laughs> and Titan of Industry. Motherfucker. Oh, ho, ho. that's a good draw. I mean, that'll do. This is gonna get real, real fast. Actually, this game. This game could be a slobber knocker. A good old slobber knocker. Yeah. Editor, remove that sneeze. And have everybody wearing a frickin' raincoat. They didn't do anything. All right. Take some damage. Oh, here's an Infernal Grasp. Okay, they might regret that. Do we play the Titan and blow up, like, their reflection? I think so. We can get a lot of value out of this. So, they have Infernal Grasp, we know. So, let's at least try to protect our Titan. But, if we end up bouncing it, that'll be sweet. Let's see if they try to remove the shield counter with a chump lock on a trampler. That's pretty good for us. Oh, they do. If they jump everything away, Cyclone Summoner doesn't make sense anymore. So I guess we'll just ramp up some more, get some more value. This is to work on uh, drawing the next Titan of Industry after they kill this one. To the surprise of nobody. They're at seven. They need to do their reanimator trick now. They've got... they got some hitters, you know? Titan, Toxril, Jin. How many Infernal Grasps can you play in a deck whose literal biggest problem is getting attacked to death? I'll do. Well, I'm ready for your fourth Infernal Grasp. <laughs> but you weren't ready for the Titan. Well, remember the Titans. See what I did there. Finally drew them. Really good card. All right, it's science at this point. I'm gonna keep recording games until I get a hand without the, the one of Sky Turtle. Did it. On the draw, two seven drops and a two drop. Easy keep. Easy keep. I'm sure the opponent's gonna play their turn one hopeful initiate. Right? See, I just want to be wrong at this point, so we're doing that reverse psychology thing. I learned about it in school once. Seems smarty. Dream Devourer. Okay. Opponents on some kind of other level here. With Palaka Predation and Dream Devourer. Each non-line card in your hand has Foretell. Foretell is reduced by two. Reduces the mana cost by two. Whenever you foretell a card, plus two plus oh. 
You gonna kill it? No? You know, foretell. Okay. Well, not gonna lie, I'm kinda nervous. Who knows what they're getting up to with this foretelling stuff. Little, little uh, Valky? Maybe. They might outramp me. But they did go first. Do it again, do it again. Do it again. Yes! Opponent's excited about this attack step. I block. I bounce. Haha. <laughs> Alright, now... Wow. I've never seen four lands before. It's getting fresh in here. I don't need another land at all. And we're about to go to seven. So, what's the grab? Mascot? I'm gonna grab Conjuration? Just to keep the creatures coming. It's a really good one. No more replaying Shigeki, though. I think opponent's gonna play Valky. Then we're gonna have to play Cyclone Summoner. Henrika. Okay. Alright. That's not too scary. That's just a card, you know? It's like a normal card you put in a deck. I'm expecting like nine drops and <laughs> expecting some shenanigans here. They didn't even foretell their other cards. Okay, now they did, but it's too late to attack, so cool, I guess. I'm just going to... I'm not putting anything out there in front of the Henrika. Make us sacrifice it. Just going to field trip. You know, let's go on a little trip. Guess I'll get that. It's going to cast the Conjuration. Grab the Titan. You know. Big stuff. We're just going to try to do lots of big stuff. There's Onyx. The essence of life is inseparable from the essence of death. Whoa! <laughs> Our opponent's also into going big. I can't believe they binned those. Imagine the card they kept. It must be a, a banger. They didn't attack. Okay. 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 Da -da 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 -da. To your hand. Onyx with a land can come back down and just make me sacrifice it, but then the Hall of Storm Giants can swing over there for the damage. The Ghast That Shambles. Enrica! Gonna kill that Cyclone Summoner. Each player sacrifices a creature. Good call. Another Summoner. You love to see it. Hmm... With what we're up against, maybe I just get the mascots. Just load up on heavy hitters. Let's start with a Titan. I'm gonna also make a 4 4, so it's hard to make me sacrifice the Titan, and I'm also gonna destroy the clue. Sorry, the treasure. To make it harder for the opponent to play the Onyx. Oh! They... For... They foretold that. Sure. I guess it only cost one black. But they had to sacrifice Henrika. Terrigrid Gamer. Awesome. So you gotta watch out when you channel Shigeki. 
Shigeki goes over there. Fortunately, Cyclone Summoner gets us our stuff back pretty aggressively. Like this. Now I can sacrifice this without worrying about Terra Grid. Yep, they want to kill the summoner. You really want to fight me? <laughs> oh, that's cute. Well, darn. Looks like you flunked out. Mwah. All right, make four four. Make shield counter. And stomp away. We're just trying to keep building up the mana so the Shigekis are nothing short of amazing. The Onyx could drain us a lot, but they'd have to play a lot of spells. So far, we don't see spells. We see a, a weird assortment of critters. Come on, there's got to be something useful. Ugh. Okay. You broke the shield counter. Enrica, now you're gonna make me sacrifice the Titan? And you have just enough mana to field of ruin the hall. Smooth. Lucky or good? Never mind, they're spending it on Valky. Or maybe they're sacrificing Valky? No, let's see. All right, they sacrificed Valky. You want to block? They usually do. All right, little rampy turn. Thirty-one cards in their deck. Maybe milling them via Onyx is the line. Almost out of land in there. In theory, that should make the draws better over time. They're good. Let's sack now, so... We don't give them a free Neverwinter Dryad. Yeah, get it all out there. We wouldn't want to miss a turn without Dream Devour. I mean, we get back a card with the Shigeki by doing it that way. Hit a, if we do it now, we hit a land drop and we get way more cards. The opponent hits us pretty hard, but we recover. All right. Um, six cards. They do get our Shigeki, but we hit our land drop. Still, you know, it's kind of upsetting, to be honest, that there's still no Fading Hope here. But anyway, six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Enjoy Shigeki. It's a lovely card. <laughs> Mascots. Silly. I wonder if they're going to like foretell their 
five potential cards after Professor Onyx and hit me as hard as they can with Dream Devourer. Pump on. There's got to be something useful. If they had a way to make me discard the two Cyclone Summoners, it would be brutal. Oh, here it comes. Okay, can they get both of them? Actually, it has to be cast from hand, right? So if they put it into play, it won't trigger. But they might not know that, because reading the card explains the card. Well, now they know. Now they know. Let it go, let it go. All I need to do is draw a Fading Hope, or this turtle, which I can find with the Conjuration, or another Summoner. Okay. Do I have anything that just removes the Valky? Nope. Nope. What a weird draw. <laughs> Dream Devourer Tear Grid. I mean, that's attack all. <laughs> Thank you. I was starting to worry. My win con, you are fading hope. <laughs> um, yeah. Let's do this too. Stay on top of them. I will gain five and I'll put a shield counter on my trampling titan here. Oh, uh, this game's been a, this game's been a slugfest. Uh, but then invoke despair always comes out to play. Card is a beating. I mean, what you going after? Shigeki don't care. <laughs> Alright, so take that. We need to leave eight mana. We need to leave eight mana to do the thing. And we have 16, so we can get three cards. So we get the Fading Hope. What else can we get here? Guess we need to keep hitting land drops. So we could just grab the lands. There are none left in the deck to grab. Yeah, I guess that's it. We'll grab one of those, and I guess we'll grab the mascots. Shigeki goes back to the opponent, thanks to Tear Grid. These go back to our hand. This goes on the Cyclone Summoner. Cyclone Summoner hits the battlefield. discard time is it the mascots again it could also be the land the basic conjuration isn't doing much but it fits our curve better than the seven drops but I don't want to discard Shigeki that I'm sure of so is it the land they're gonna Valky this again us oh, it's also circular all right How do we actually break through? Are we getting ahead in these equations? I guess we do keep playing the Titan. Oh look, it's Terragrid. Hmm. 
Yeah. When are you gonna learn? <laughs> I can just keep getting that back. Like, as long as you have it on the field, you should... I mean, I guess it doesn't matter too much. What are you gonna do? You can't do nothing. You got no game. You can't stop me. I can do this all day. I guess we're still hitting land drops every step along the way, so it's fine. I could also be like, if I, if, here's the thing, this bounce is non-giants, so I need, I can't like bounce a Valky and then cast a summoner from hand, they would still keep my other summoner. Next turn. I guess what I should do is just do it for two instead of keep doing it for three so that I can cast things like basic conjuration and I can keep getting that back so I'm gaining three life every time through the cycle. You did it. How's it gonna end, guys? Do you feel like you know? So, Fading Hope, and something I can play? Like, maybe a, the Dinosaur or something? Nah, we'll use Conjuration. Um, I guess having one of these to sacrifice might be fun. Again, streamer, again. It's so fun. Stompies? Sure. Unfortunately, we just put Seagate Restoration on the bottom. No max hand size would be really fun for this game. You want to do that again? You, you down for another round? I think they are. How many invokes have we been through? Two. Three. Uh, I'll sack this creature. But that's why we played it. I have a hard time with this one. Did an interesting decision pop up? Okay. I'm gonna remake <laughs> this town in my image. Oh, I have a job for you. Defy me, and you'll lose everything. I mean, what are you gonna do? Take the summoner? Okay. Fading hope. <laughs> Easy. They blinked, they get punished. Yes, please. We'll do that again. That's what you get. Ob. Imagine thinking Ob would save you. What a bizarre game. What a bizarre game that was. And we are back for the post-game wrap. And when we check the stats powered by MTGA Assistant, you'll find I went 10 and 8 playing Simic Ramp 
in Mythic on the draw 11 times on the play 7 times, which is not bad for what is mostly a neglected color combination in the current Magic format, which is reasonable because Simic was the is it of Magic the Gathering. What is it is now which is always getting new cards, always busted. Maybe you would also call Mono White this. What Mono White and Is It are now is what Mono Red and Simic used to be. So Simic's taken a big backseat and it's been actually hard to find competitive Simic lists, but this one is pretty good. Uh, this one does drop the two towers very consistently. It gets the mana together very consistently. It puts bodies on the field that the opponents have to cope with. So it keeps them busy. And it does have a long game plan that can just kind of go into the Dirtle zone with Sky Turtle, Shigeki, Fading Hope, Disdainful Stroke, Offer You Can't Refuse. You can turn on the control deck side of things. So, I like the deck. It's a fun deck to play. Yes, sometimes you're going to be on the draw against Thalia with a hand that's not very good against Mono White, and it's going to be a very, very difficult game. Or and sometimes you're going to get smorked out of the game by Rafine, because that card is just difficult to interact with, and it makes the opponent's creatures all very large threats. But, when you do get up there and you get to cast your summoner and you get to cast your titan and your summoner and your titan and then you play your titan and you cast your summoner get back your titan cast another titan yeah they're not going to be able to deal with that forever it is a very high power deck and some people really enjoy that so if that sounds like you i do think you should go get your titans of industry because that is a mythic that has a certain level of power and it's going to be around for a long time we're currently playing eight set standard eight set standard is the biggest litmus test for power level of cards. The cards you play in your deck have to be really good or really synergistic because they're competing with so many other cards for the spots. When rotation happens in September and three sets leave, or four sets leave, one set enters, Titan of Industry will still be around. And it, since it's a, it can be played now, it can probably be really played then. So. Strongly recommend some Titans of Industry. Strongly recommend the deck if this looks like your jam. Love to Arjuna. F's in the chat for Arena Craft Podcast. You will be missed, but I will always think of you when I play Simic Ramp. Thank you for watching this video. As always, I'll see you in the next video. You're cool.